So I'm still not feeling better. <clears throat> I got my vinegar and water pluming the air. And I got my hot water. I'm getting ready to drink some lemon water, hot. And one thing that I used to do with my children, which my mother did with us, um, and I still do to this day with myself, for myself, and um, my children, you know, if they bring the baby sick, I do a little bit there, is eat something with garlic and some type of pepper. And the main ingredients, of course, I put turmeric in there, Kanye pepper, because that's a detox, garlic powder, and turmeric. That's what you're seeing here. But the number one, number one ingredients that you, if you don't put nothing else in there, and I don't use there. These ramen noodles, I don't use their little packets. They go straight in the trash. But the number one ingredient that you want to use is this. Salt of the earth. Now, I'm prayerfully that this is the real one. Because for a long time, there was no little girl on here. The Morton little girl wasn't on here. She's back on here again. Look a tiny bit different, but that's her. You put that salt in there. And for me, I make whatever I'm eating, I make it salt to taste. In other words, I want it to be salty. And I just make a little bit. I don't make no whole lot. Um, I know when I used to have asthma, my mother used to give me about that much, about that much, a half of an ounce of salty water, warm salty water. And I would drink it down. And within me drinking it, I would start to cough and cough and cough. And then one good cough would afford me to throw up. And once I threw up, all the phlegm came out. And honey, it was like I never even had an asthma attack. Salt of the earth. The Bible speaks about it. I could do, matter of fact, I'm going to do a video on it. Show sure is. I taught about the salt of the earth in my first grade class. But that's what I'm getting ready to eat. And then, then you want to get some Epsom salt. Shout out to my son. He gave me this big old bag. And the Epsom salt is going to naturally detox you. Yeah, you. You need that. Pull out all the nasty germs and anything else that's not right. You want to put a cup in there of Epsom salt. I'm going to use some hot boiling water instead. And also I'm going to be putting in vinegar. Gather all your things and find yourself a good, edifying movie. Something that's worth watching. Something that's worth putting in your brain. Me, I love a good Christian movie. That's talking about the goodness of the Lord. Talking about the goodness of people. Talking about good things that's happening prior to something bad happening. Detox your body, honey. I sure need it. Oh, yeah, that's some kale that I had left over from a salad. And, of course, I tore the salad up. and See, let me save a little bit and put in here. Can't wait to eat this. Salty as it's going to be. I need it to make me well again. So go on and soak your feet. And <clears throat> if you don't want to soak your feet, soak your hands. Get your good book to read. Whatever you do, soak the germs and detox your body. Okay? So important. 
And this is hot, 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 hot. So, this is the second day. And I'm feeling better, but not feeling better. I put on jewelry. I do that anyway. To make myself feel, you know, better, cute, adorable, loved, me. <laughs> That's because me, I, she knows, that's me, love myself. And I care about myself. Care about my well-being. I'm going to tell y'all where this came from. I'm going to tell y'all where this came from. I already know. I just figured it out. But y'all stay away from the vaccinated people. I'm trying to tell you. I'm a, I'm a witness. It's my punishment right here. <clears throat> But anyway, let me get into this. My feet is soaking. And I'm going to watch my movie. I showed y'all the title. And I'm going to um, eat my salad. All right? All right. Go and heal yourself. I love you. Mm-hmm.